How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics. Welcome to tutorial number 11 in my QBasic tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to um, change your program's control flow using the go to command. The go to command um, allows you to jump around to different parts in your program. So you can label a part in your program. You can then tell your program to go to that label. It'll go to that line in the code and continue executing your program from there. So, launch QB64. I've already created this file called goto.bas. And let's get started. So, the goto command is going to look for some label. So, let's just say we want it to go to 1. Well, it's going to look for a line in your code that's labeled 1. Now, to label a line, you give it a name and you put a colon. Now, everything following that is that line. So we can say print hello world. So what this is going to do, this one's labeled one, and the first time it's going to go when our program runs, it's still going to run from top to bottom. So it's going to print this, but then when it gets here, it's going to keep going back to one. Print it out, go down again, it's going to hit here. So what this is what you call an infinite loop. So it's going to keep printing hello world until we stop the program. So I'm just going to run that for you. So there you go. It's going to keep printing hello world infinitely until we stop our program. Infinite loop you don't want to have in your code, just so you know. So let's just control this a little bit better. Let's get input from the user. Do... you want to print again question mark and let's just put in brackets y dash n or y forward slash n um, so those are the two options we're going to allow for and we'll store their answer in a variable called answer which is going to contain a string so we have to put a dollar sign so we're going to have an if statement so if answer equals y or answer equals uppercase y well then we want it to go to 1 so if we say yes we want to print again go to 1 print it again and we're just going to end put our end if right here because if they don't put Y, then we're just going to end our program. So let's run this. It's going to print Hello World. Do you want to print again? Yes. It prints Hello World again. It's going to ask again, do we want to print again? Yes. Do we want to print again? Let's put an N. Ends our program. So basically what I want to, wanted to show you is it's going to go find this number 1 in the code, with, execute this line, and it's going to continue executing every line after that. So we can have multiple go-to's. So print hello world. We can have go to one. We can have another one. So let's put a two here. Print hello world again. So now we can change this one to 2. It only prints hello world the first time. After that, each time it's going to say hello world again. Yes. Yes. Alright. Now, we can also give it a name. We don't have to stay with numbers. So, let's just call this P. Print I'm just going to copy the line above, hello world again. So, there, go to P. Yes, yes, so it's going to keep doing that. So, numbers you can use if that's like the steps to your program but it might be very useful to you to give these labels a better name that best describes what they do. So let's just call this one hello. 
Now if we're getting our hero label not defined, so we got to change that to hello. So this could be our hello greeting message that we use throughout our entire program. So anytime we want to say hello to the user, we just say go do hello. So this name better describes what this line of code does. All right, and we all know it's going to work, but let's just do it one more time. Yep, it works. Okay. So that's all I wanted to show you guys about the go to command. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.